Hi everyone, welcome to Perceptions, the channel that is all about perfume perceptions. Today we are going to talk about Le Couvain, again, uh, a niche brand with very affordable prices, and this is led by Jean-Claude Elena, one of the greatest perfumers ever. So if you're new to the channel and you like perfumes, consider subscribing, this is all about perfumes, any type, any price. Um, and if you're coming back, I'm really happy to have you here again, and I hope you are gonna like this video. And you're coming back and you're not subscribed? Subscribe! <laughs> show some love, show some support. So, let's go. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna start with the least appropriate for the season. Since now it's fall, let's talk about the summer scent to start with. Um, okay, those are mostly the fruity ones um, that we have here. So first one that comes to my mind is this one which is aquamantia so this one essentially has uh, I, um, I can't find a grapefruit and uh, hibiscus in the heart so grapefruit, grapefruit in the opening hibiscus in the heart and then uh, cedarwood I think uh, on the base I think you can smell the uh, grapefruit and cedarwood very well uh, and the hibiscus uh, it's not like I, I know well how hibiscus smells like but it's, it has some kind of I almost put a uh, smell uh, in the art, but this is a perfume that evolves. I think in the opening it reminds me of uh, the tart opening of uh, perfumes like a very good girl, very very good girl glam, that type of very tart opening. If you like tart opening, but you wish it was less sour, uh, you can go for this one, which is and that one is um, a botanic. Sorry, let me let me be more precise. So this is a Cologne Botanique Absolue, which essentially means it's a slightly higher of the Cologne, slightly higher in concentration of the Cologne. I think on the website they list all the concentrations. And uh, here is, uh, we have Agape, which is another perfume singular. And this one essentially is um, grapefruit and passion fruit. It's not grapefruit, it's, it's more uh, tangerine something like that and um, passion fruit but you really smell the passion fruit and here also you have lang lang ah it's very beautiful uh, I think it's a very nice uh, passion fruit perfume um, I would highly recommend you if you like passion fruit perfumes to be honest and the lang lang makes it a bit smoother so it's not very you know screechy uh, the acidity is well compensated let's say Talking about always fruity perfumes, I would talk about this one, which is a Santa Cruz. A Santa Cruz essentially is a very uh, citrusy perfume with some um, balsamic touches from eucalyptus that has an opening that smells a bit like uh, uh, the green facets of fig tree and fig leaves. Not like the fig fruit though. And yeah, I think it's really interesting. Um, I actually like it. I mean, I'm not a big lover of uh, citrus in the sense, but this one is really nice. And I think uh, wrapping up uh, the... Yeah, with this one, we're wrapping up all the kind of fruity scents. Now, let's move to something that is kind of always for the kind of warmer season or maybe end of summer uh, or for spring. So here we have another cologne again. On Vans Intense, uh, which is Orange Blossom and Palma Rosa. So Palma Rosa is an essential oil which is similar to, smells a bit like rose and geranium. And then Orange Blossom, here you have this very beautiful um, sparkling and very solar Orange Blossom, which really is uh, suited to summer and I think a very warm spring days. Um, something again that is flowery and I think also a bit summer-like is aqua marrana here i have one of my 10 ml, 10 ml uh, vials i don't know how to call them you know small uh samples and, and this one is very beautiful this one has uh salty notes and then frangipani absolute and lang abs and, and lang lang and i think at the lang lang and the frangipani they creates this buttery um feeling 
and the salt with it is it's coupling it's coupling very well so there are these kind of marine salty uh, accords that are uh, just stunning i think aquamarana it's another cologne in tons in tons on tons <laughs> intense sorry <laughs> mixing up english and french uh, and I think it's really, really, really nice uh, for summertime. On my skin, it pulls slightly animalic, so maybe you want to try it on your skin before you're not committing to a full bottle. Um, if you're based in Europe also, you can order from like Ovan website, and otherwise, um, there are some big perfumery chains that are actually selling the uh, brand in Europe as well, like Douglas, uh, Douglas and uh, Marino. Um, but I'm not sure about the US and other markets. Then, another perfume which I think is really nice by um, Le Couvain, if you like uh, a bit of vintage uh, smells, uh, it's actually not my cup of tea. I bought it because I've read on Fragrantica uh, reviews saying that this would be a fresh jasmine and I actually like fresh jasmine. Sans uh, Lisandra, Lisandra is not fresh jasmine. So this one has uh, declared notes are, uh, of course there's much more to, than that. Uh, mandarin in the opening, then jasmine for grandiflorum in the heart, I think it was like the grandiflorum type. And then in the base you have vetiver and uh, I think labdarum. And you can tell from the base that this is a bit of a dark jasmine, it's not a fresh jasmine. I mean yes, you have the fresh jasmine but it's uh, totally darkened by the base, which I smell immediately. And uh, yeah, so essentially if you're looking for a fresh jasmine, that's not your scent. That's a very refined, uh, classic and a bit vintage smelling type of jasmine scent. This is totally unisex. I think uh, this is easier. Um, it's, very, it's, a very, it's a very easy jasmine scent for men. Oops, and I almost destroyed it. Okay. That was bad. That was pretty bad. Okay, then let's talk now about this uh, rose perfume, which is named Smirnam. So this is a, another perfect unisex uh, rose. This is uh, essentially a rose with spices. Uh, that is, if you know Lady v Vengeance by uh, Julieta Sagan, you may get an idea of what this one smells like, but uh, so in the opening, the in, to my nose, the pepper here is more full, like more realistic, while in uh, Juliette Sagan, uh, Lady Vengeance, is more like an abstract pepper. Uh, here I see, I smell it as more natural, let's say, more complete in the smell. It, it doesn't mean it's better or worse, it's just, uh, I'm just trying to explain um, how this one smells like. And then you have essentially, and, and the, of course Smyrna, like by Smyrna, um, so this is a Turkish rose. Um, you have woody notes, vetiver, cardamom, and the citruses. But essentially what I smell is this beautiful Turkish rose uh, with the pepper and the, some woody notes. Uh, beautiful perfume, totally unisex, uh, um, yeah, very pleasant. Uh, actually, very good one, you know, like for you know, for a rose perfume, and it's not overpowering, it, you know, like it leans a bit Middle Eastern, but it never goes really there, it's it's more like, it's, it's slightly more remote, so let's say you have Lady Vengeance, which is abstract pepper rose accord, and then, uh, and patchouli, but then you move a bit more towards the Middle Eastern side of things, and then you have Smyrna in between. Then another floral, the last floral we have is Mimosa, I think actually Smyrna, I think it's a good for the season, you know, for fall and it's also good in spring, but I see it more for night and fall. Uh, also Lissandra, I think it's good for fall because of that vetiver and lockdown base. Well, this one, I think it's more of a um, spring scent, let's say, spring summer scent. So Mimosa essentially is part of the Parfum concentration line, which is called the Eau de Parfum uh, or Parfum Signature, Parfum Signature, I think. Signature, I think in French, I'm not sure, sorry about my French pronunciation. So this one is also um, essentially very realistic uh, mimosa smell. I'm not quite sure, do you say mimosa in English? You know this yellow flower which is powdery and uh, very fluffy and uh, traditionally offered to women in 
So well, at least there is some European countries on the Women's Day. I'm not quite convinced this is really the case everywhere. Okay, let me let me check on Fragantica, whether how you call it. Uh, but essentially, this is a green, flowery, powdery scent. Extremely realistic. I think this is, uh, you know, I used to have a mimosa tree, so I know very well how mimosa smells like. And this is just it. You know, it's extremely realistic. It's like you cut the mimosa, uh, like a, a small trench from the tree uh, with the mimosa, and you smell it, and this is totally the same. Totally the same. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's about it. So, if, you, if you're looking for the most realistic mimosa scent, here, here it is, like about mimosa. And is there anything else? Oh yes, my favorite. My favorite is upcoming, this next. I really love it. Yes, my favorite by far. I mean, they're all great. I think this is amazingly realistic. Amazing. This is a stunning summer scent. It's wonderful rose and pepper. But the next one, the next one is, and yeah, I can say <laughs> amazing. Thing. Also this one, this all the cologne with orange blossom. I love it. Totally love it. But this one, this one is my favorite. It's Ambra, which means Amber, Amber. And it's an Amber perfume, an Amber-centric perfume. Um, so the notes are Bergamot, Absolute. Uh, I'm not quite sure about the English version of this. Let me check this in Fragrantica Immortel. That's a French word that I can find on the website. Um, just a second. And then you have on the base a Sisters Labdanum, which is, you know, what makes it really a very beautiful amber scent. Uh, you have this, the um, Immortel, yes, it's Immortel in English. Um, gives this herbaceous, herbaceous um, smell, but mostly this perfume is um, resinous. So if you love amber resins, amber with resins, you know, well, amber is kind of a, a fantasy note that is made up with uh, resins and uh, balsams, I think, as well, and uh, benzene, vanilla, and so on. Well, I think this is stunning. Um, I think uh, uh, this is very modern as an amber scent. It's not smelling vintage at all, which is very common with amber scents. And this is kind of my problem with them uh, very often. Um, I think this is as modern as Black Orchid would be. Yeah, it's this type of strong, bold, resinous amber. Beautiful. Uh, this one is amazing. Uh, so, amber. By the Cubone. Oops, uh, uh, the last one fell. The best one fell. Okay, so I think that's all. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and activate the notification bell. And let me know if you like Le Cubone as a line. Oh, by the way, if I haven't told you, uh, none of my videos is sponsored, so everything you see I bought myself. I bought them on during the sales from Baile Cuban. And uh, yeah, so the brand doesn't know I exist. Just to make it to be clear, these are my personal opinions. These are everything I smell. It's like, you know, what I'm telling you is what I smell and that's it. Um, so yeah, uh, hope to see you in my next one. Bye!